Hi everyone, welcome to another Nature Moment with Gabe. We're here at the Mill Run Trail in St. Jacobs, Ontario. It's January and we just had a wonderful little chance to, to get to watch one of our native Ontario mammals going about his work in the waterway here. It was a muskrat. The muskrats, true to their name, are actually part of that branch of rodents that are, include mice and rats. Uh, and they are active, unlike their other aquatic counterpart here in Ontario, the beaver. Muskrats are active all throughout the winter time, and they'll be going in and out and, and all around. We were watching them swim under the ice, and uh, really cool to see them going about his business. Similar to a beaver, they build their homes in around the waterways. So we're getting a lot of uh, duck commentary happening behind us right now. They build their homes out of twigs and out of uh, small branches. Uh, they'll, if, if beavers are around, they'll actually sometimes share a lodge with a beaver, which is pretty cool. How, honestly, how, how creatures like this manage to stay warm through the winter is, is incredible. They have extremely good insulating skin. A lot of them have beautifully aligned counter current blood flow in their extremities and, and their fans and feet, which means that the, the warmth, because the blood vessels are right beside each other, the warmth will stay in their bodies and there's just enough blood, uh, or the, the, the blood, the blood's still pumping, but there's just enough heat to keep the, uh, the, the fingers and toes from getting frostbite. Um, but they're amazing little creatures that are really well adapted to living in nice aquatic environments like this. So keep your eyes open anytime you're around a waterway, even in the winter time, looking under the ice if you can see through it at all. You might even see some creatures moving around because our waterways uh, here in Canada are still full of life, even when uh, they're covered in ice and snow. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. Remember to find joy and wonder wherever you are today. We'll see you next time.